Chauncey, what do you think went wrong tonight? <laughs> Uh, we played at 12.30. We never played at 12.30 before. Yeah, that was it. Are you glad that this is over? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I am. Um, very much so. You know, I think y'all all know how I feel um, about losing and about this. And um, I don't like it, you know. I don't like it. Um, so I'm glad it's over, you know, and I um, hope that I'm never in this position again. And uh, we're going to try to do everything necessary, you know, hopefully that none of us are in this position again because it's no fun, man. Chauncey, why do you think you guys aren't able to make the jump defensively? Um, I think, you know, for the most part, I thought earlier in the season, you know, when we had our guys, we were pretty dang good, you know, defensively. We really were. And um, started having injuries, you know. I think uh, a lot of our stuff kind of changed, you know, when you start having to play. You have injuries and then you start having to play young guys, you know. It's just tough to, it's tough to maintain that. And we just had no choice in the matter, you know, but to do it, you know. But at the start of the season when we really kind of had most of our guys, um, I thought our defense was pretty good. You know, it held us it held us in there for the first 15, 17 games because our offense wasn't doing very well. We wasn't making shots. But we were winning. We were holding teams, I think, well, I don't know, our defense was maybe sixth in the league, you know, for the first 15 games. And then, you know, things start to change. You know, the rotation started to change because of injuries, because of this, because of that. And then it just, you know, it went down. And um, we had another stretch, I think, during the season where our defense was pretty good. Um, we started playing a lot of drop cover. You know, we, we just we started changing a little bit. And uh, we just weren't able to sustain that. And a lot of that, you know, again, you know, I got to be better at certain things. And a lot of that is sometimes just personnel driven. We have to be better there. It just kind of happens, man. Chauncey, the front office is going to have to make decisions on a lot of guys the summer and, and figure out what worked and what didn't. Do you feel like you guys saw enough to know the answers to those things of to make those decisions on guys? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, we were able to we were able to see a lot. You know, um, I said it before the game. I think the bright spot spot of our season was just this, the development of Shaden. Um, Nobody knew before the season if I was even going to play the kid, you know. Um, put him in a rotation from the very first game, you know, and played every game pretty much. So that was, that, was, that was something that I felt was necessary. You know, my reasons for doing it is I felt it was necessary for us to see what we had in him. And you can't see that if you don't play, you know. Um, and that's not like we couldn't like just throw him on our G League team, you know. We, we needed the. It was just I was going to have to live through his stuff, and so we did that. And you're right, like there's going to have to be some really some real decisions made here um, for us to become a real competitive, contending team. It just is what it is. So if you say you you do have a good idea of what this roster is. Do you foresee major changes or just tweaks to this roster? No, I think um, you know we've 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 done the tweak thing, you know, a few times, and I think we got to be we got to be more aggressive than that. That's just my opinion. Um, if we want to actually do right by the best player in the history of this organization, we have to be aggressive. Can you guys enter next year with Shaden? And I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, those kind of decisions will be made, you know, um, obviously by people in a higher position than me, you know. But um, those two guys um, are really, really good young players in this league, and I'm pretty sure they have a ton of value everywhere. So I don't know the answer to that question, um, but we'll see. 
me ask you this then. If both Anthony and Shaden are on the roster and then the next year, how difficult or, or what, how would you view that as a coach as far as getting the most out of it? It's, it's, tough to, it's tough to answer that, Jason, because at the end of the day, it depends on what's around them. That's the main thing. You can't just pinpoint those two guys and say, well, what if? Well, what about everybody else? Um, is the, that's the most important thing, you know, because both of those guys, I think, can be uh, all-stars in this game, you know, and it all depends on the entire team that's built around them, you know, and it's just pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty much just that simple. You mentioned, being, you mentioned being more aggressive. That means going after a big fish. That means basically pulling off a trade this franchise has never been able really to do. If that doesn't happen, do you think things could change dramatically simply by adding more veteran, experienced guys that fit better? Because Dame said earlier he's not interested in even <coughs> drafting another 19, 20-year-old with the first-round pick you guys have. He wants mm -hmm. some guys who are basically – his age or close to it. Well, I think um, we all, if we watching this game close enough and we understand what wins in this league, as the playoffs start to start and these teams start to get eliminated and we get to the Final Four, you're not going to see teams with four and five, six and seven young guys. It just doesn't happen. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, with that being said, I understand what Dane, where he's coming from. Like, Look at the two years that he's gone through, you know, um, after having some success, you know, and going to the playoffs every year. Um, he, he should feel that way. And I think that he has the right to feel that way. And we all, and we've all said this, we all owe it to him to give him an opportunity and a chance because he's just, he's been too good to all of us. He's been too good to this fan base. And, um, you know, everything that he feels should be considered and it should be done. It just, it's just, it's pretty much that simple. John, what are so many different variations of this team over the last two years. Where do you land on what your core principles and what your, philosophy, your, your philosophies are offensively, defensively? Do you look back at them? Do you know what they are in your head versus what they are in practice? Have they changed because of where the organization has been the last two years? Yeah, not, my stuff haven't really changed. I think the biggest thing, um, you know, my biggest thing on this year is we depended on a lot of people that we had, um, how we built our team this summer that we we never seen our team actually play, right? Like we never seen us like actually play together. Um, I, there's one hand I probably can count that we had our top eight, nine players play in a game, you know? So we never seen it, you know? And I felt like um, our front office, we did a good job of like putting the team that we thought that compete together. Um, but we just wasn't lucky enough to see the team actually play. Um, so, you know, my values as a coach and the things that I believe in offensively and defensively, they haven't changed at all. Um, and by the way, like, most teams that have a chance to win it, most teams that we're going to start seeing in these playoffs, they all feel the same way. It's this, it, there's no reason or no way to recreate the will. It is what it is. You know, um, you, need, you need some really great offensive players that can carry you. You need to be able to move the basketball. You got to be able to rebound the basketball. Um, you need shooting in this game. You need length. You need strength. It is what it is. On the defensive end, you need some competitors. You need guys that can compete. You need guys that are smart. Um, that's no different than any coach that you can put all 30 coaches from the league up here and they're going to tell you the same thing. It's no, it is what it is. So, um, you know, have we have I done a good job of bringing that to the table and coaching that and us having success? No, nah, we haven't had a lot of success wins and losses wise. Um, but I think every guy in that locker room will tell you what they know that their coach wants from them and want from us. So as far as that's concerned, you know, that's all you can really do as a coach.
Chauncey, kind of to the same, along the same lines as uh, Danny's question, where do you think you're, you've talked all year about your, yourself still being a work in progress as a head coach. Where do you feel like you are right now personally in your development? Like what's something you know now about yourself as a coach that maybe you didn't know after your first season? Yeah. Um, man, I feel like I've come a long way, you know. Um, you know, after my first year, it was, it was kind of tough. Um, that whole, I don't know, last three months, you know, I feel like kind of my my development kind of stopped a little bit because we just we changed course, obviously. And I thought this year, you know, um, I came a long, long way by way of just I had to play so many different lineups, I had to play so many different people, I had to adjust and change in so many different ways. Um, in the in the hit in the heat in the heat of it, you know, which is what it's all about. Um, so, man, I just feel like I, I, de I, my development was really good this year. And um, I really, really look forward to an opportunity to coach, you know, a real competitive team um, to be able to show my growth, if you, if you will. There's been resounding support for you um, from your players during these exit interviews. And, you know, there, there has been a lot of losing over the last few years, so sometimes a locker room can, can kind of turn it not buy into their coach. How does it feel for you to still have that locker room bought into you? Um, yeah, I, I mean, my guys know, they, they know how I am. They know how I feel. They know I'm, I'm very fair with all of them. Um, they know that I, all I care about is winning. You know, um, I coach them as hard as I can, but I try to coach them as smart as I can, and I'm honest with them. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of guys in the locker room over the course of the year that are probably upset with me. You know, um, maybe about how I coach them, maybe about them not playing that much. But there's not going to be one guy that you talk to that say that I wasn't fair with them, that I wasn't honest with them. And I could just remember me as a player, like that's what I respected the most, if a coach was very honest with me and he was fair. And I always said that if I ever coach, I would be those two things. Um, and it's not a good position to be in. You know, you got to think about it as a coach. If I'm going to play a rotation of nine guys and we have 15 guys on the team, there's going to be six guys not playing. Those six guys are probably going to be upset with you, you know. Uh, they're probably not going to be very happy with the head coach. Um, I dig in and I pour into those six guys just like they're the other nine. You know, I'm always talking to them. I'm always trying to lead them. I'm always in practice trying to spend extra time with them. So I just try to be fair and I try to be honest. and. Um, I try to do the best I can, you know, when I'm when I'm in there with them. And, you know, I appreciate the fact that they all support and are happy to play for me, you know, because I've enjoyed every uh, – even in situations like that we're in, I enjoy it and I love coaching. So um, that's pretty cool. Chauncey, put on your GM hat for, for one – one we'll talk to the GM soon. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one thing that this team needs to have going into the next season? You only get to pick one. What's the one thing you have to have on this team going forward? Me. <laughs> what else you need? Chauncey, uh, how critical has it been in the last two seasons, offensively and defensively, not to have the kind of size that a lot of other teams have? In this league? Yeah, um, that's a big thing. That's a big thing. I mean, we, we lack size. Since I've been here, you know, since I've been here, we, we've lacked size. Um, and I think that's something that we'll, we'll do a better job of this summer as we move forward and try to build this thing the, the proper way. But it hurts you, you know, and we've, we haven't lacked heart. So we've had a lot of guys, um, even if you look at this year's team at the start of the season, you know, the Justice Winslows and the Josh Hart's and GP, and these guys got big, big, big heart. Um, and they fight as hard as you could fight. But when that ball goes up, then it becomes a who can get there first. I mean, we lose that. Um, so that's been an issue. That's been a problem. But um, that's not always the easiest thing to get, you know. Um, we did a great job about they knew. You know, I want competitive guys. I want kind of tough guys. Boom, Joe and them did a great job of going to get that. Um, we just never got to see them play together. But yeah, sure, we, we're watching the same game. You know, we, we all, the whole world can understand and know that we, we need to get bigger.